Inside of our list builder, we have two options for sending messages. So right now I am under step number five, send messages. We have broadcast and we have sequences. First, let's talk about broadcast. So I'm gonna click on that and here we can see a list of our email broadcast. Now a broadcast is when you type out an email and send it to everyone on your email list at once. So I'm gonna click on add new and when that loads up, we have the ability here to customize our email. Now the first option is to choose the recipients. So we need to choose which list we want to send this to. Now we can send it to more than one list if we want to. The next option for our email is we can select a template if we want to, or we can go ahead and type out our own subject and our own email. Now on the far right, we have the schedule. We can send this immediately to everyone on these lists, or we can set a schedule and a date and time to when we should send this email to everyone on these lists. But either way, everyone on these lists will get this email at the exact same time. And that's what a broadcast message is. The other option that we have is a sequence. So let me bring up the sequence here. And this here is a series of emails that gets sent out depending on an action that a subscriber takes. So let's go ahead and create a new one and see exactly what this looks like. The first thing we need to do is choose the list. So I'm going to choose my test list. Then we need to give this a name. I'm going to say my sequence emails. And then finally a description. I'm just going to say my sequence and click on submit. Now, as you can see, it looks a lot different. We need to add steps to our sequence. So right now we don't have any action steps. So I'm going to click on create new. And for the first step, we're going to call this subscribes. And we're going to do an email and we're going to say zero day zero. So this is going to happen right when they subscribe. I'm going to save my step and we can see this has been created. So I'm going to click on OK. We have the ability to type out the subject and the email. So I'm just going to say welcome. And then if I'm going to say welcome again, and I am going to click on update step. And that has been updated. I'm going to click on OK. And now at the top left, we can see that we have this blue box. It says welcome zero day. So the welcome is the name of my email. That's what I put in my subject. And the zero day is when it's going to be sent out after someone subscribes to my test list. So zero day means it's going to be sent out that same day. It's going to be sent out immediately when someone subscribes. And that's why I made it a welcome email. So what I can do again is I'm going to add a new step. We're going to call this one free video. This is going to be another email and we are going to wait two days before we send this out. I'm going to click on save step that has been created. I'm going to click on OK. And then from here, we can create a new email where I give them a free video to check out. So we're going to call this free video number one. Check out this awesome free video. And then I can give them a YouTube link. I'm going to update this step here. And now at the top left, you can see we have free video number one and we are waiting two days. So I can create as many steps as I would like. So when they very first sign up to my list, they're going to receive my welcome email. After two days on my list, they're going to receive this email where I give them a free video. And then I can create another step where I wait maybe day four and that's two more days after this one. They're going to get another freebie from me and then maybe I can send them a promotional email a few days later. So you can see the difference between the sequences and the broadcast. The broadcast gets sent out immediately to everyone and the sequence only happens when someone subscribes to your list. So everyone is on a different step at any given time. So that's the difference between the two and that's how you set both of them up.